to <gasps> What is up, people? This is me in India, in South Delhi to be specific, and my plans are to head down to the beautiful coastline that is Goa, taking in the beautiful sights along the way. And today I'm doing a background video, they're beautiful, aren't they? Of what led me to this very point in my life. Let Chris explain more. <laughs> So, I grew up in a small town in Cornwall, England. And at that time, I surrounded myself with friends and did what I thought was living in the moment. Really going with the flow. But, really, I wasn't. I was working a job that didn't excite me. Just living for the weekend to be with friends, to have fun. And nobody likes to have egg on their face. But more importantly, nobody wants to be the last guy left at the party wondering where their life went. And I knew I had to do things differently. And I wanted to flip the script as I wanted to live for the entire week. From an early age, I had always questioned everything. I had an unorthodox way of doing things and thought there had to be more to life. And I always had a camera with me at most times whether filming personal video or on tour with bands, which I love. And this took me to a lot of different countries at a young age, which was great. But when I returned again, I just craved more from life. So over time, the repetition of work and having fun on the weekends left me feeling dissatisfied. Dissatisfied with who I was, which path I was on, and who I was becoming, and where ultimately I was headed. Where was my passion, my desire? I craved so much more. I wanted more life. So I decided to move to London, a city I'd been to many times, and I knew it offered way more to me to meet my needs. And at that time, I lived for music and was always filming bands, which fulfilled my reasons for leaving Cornwall. But after some years, the feeling of being disillusioned returned. Not just with how my life was, but I started to question the very nature of life itself, our existence. I had always felt out of place, and my interest in philosophy extended to spiritual interests, as it just resonated with me and it felt right. It was becoming apparent that the things I'd previously desired so much now I had less interest in them, and I was again using most of my weekly time in a job that was unfulfilling for my needs. So I took some time out, and I went to China for a month, which was awesome. But then I returned to the rat race that is London, and I had the travel edge to explore and see different cultures, very different to mine, and experience more. But Music and watching bands perform was still a constant thing in my life at that time. Until... Whilst at a show one evening, I suffered a broken leg. And having returned home after being in hospital for a whole week, with nothing but white walls and thinking time, well, I started to feel claustrophobic. With all my life stuff that I'd collected and owned, but after being bedbound for nearly four months, my job had ended and I was at a crossroads in my life. And I found online minimalism, which I became really intrigued by. I started researching the benefits, the essence that only less actually made your life feel like you had so much more and having a more enriched quality of life as a result. So I started decluttering my life. And in doing so, this made space allow me to do the things that I had been procrastinating on and focusing more on my health and my goals. I felt like a weight had been lifted from me. And with a clean slate, I decided that there was nothing holding me in London. My parents live overseas, I have no children, no wife. Well... Actually, I did get married to an Argentinian woman on the Spanish island of Ibiza many years ago. And to this day, we never got divorced. Well, we met in Ibiza some months ago to 
start divorce proceedings after 25 years of being estranged. A follow-up video to come when I return to Beaver at some stage. Maybe. Where was I? Yes, I, I felt a desire towards more cultures that were more open and primarily loved to smile. So I went to Thailand for three weeks. And for the first time in my life, I have started to feel a deeper connection to a place and its people. A place of belonging. And I concluded that I've been chasing pleasure all these years, rather than a deeper sense of happiness. Not that happiness was my goal, as happiness ultimately is to be found by pursuing things, but I just craved a different life. And I now knew outside of the comfort zone is where all the fun is to be had. If we don't constantly move forward and progress with our goals in life, then we become stagnant and the opportunities become smaller. So with that in mind, I decided to move to Thailand, also known as the land of smiles. I lived there for just under a year, but afterwards, I then returned back to London for a personal matter, but had the realization and knew ultimately that life was way more interesting in Asia and other countries full of culture. I was myself editing and watching a lot of super edited video content at this time, but I felt they came off as more promotional videos for specific locations for traveling and such. Then I stumbled onto Harold Boulder's videos on YouTube which I found captivating. He inspired me to do more one-shot filming. And I felt this way of filming really captured interesting moments in time and truly captured places in different countries in a more natural way, showing the world as the way it really is. No hidden truths, but genuine, real life as it unfolds. And if it weren't for Harold, then I wouldn't have traveled to India and I wouldn't have lived there for some time. So this channel is in no way affiliated with him but rather my life journey and a homage to him for inspiring me to be on this exciting path and if you're not aware of him i'll put a link in the description below so after some time i decided again to completely downsize my life by selling things and giving things away that would put a smile on other people's faces and i now travel with two bags just two bags and letting go of my attachment to things and embracing life as a traveling nomadic minimalist has made life more enriching. Living out of a bag allows you to treat the world as your stage and say hello to the next chapter in your life. And it was the best decision I ever made. <laughs> Awesome, my friend. Oh, do, do you know uh, Kaimara Bajar? Yes, sir. Down here? And straight on, or take a right? Take a right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, nice to meet you, my friend. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we can make this happen. Yes, sir. 